Drug prosecutions in Montana have increased by 33% in recent years. It's because drug traffickers are using Montana's interstates like a drug superhighway to bring massive loads of meth and heroin into our state. And we've been taking a hard look at the problem this week. And tonight we're learning more about how meth can cripple lives. Here's Andrea Lutz with a preview of tonight's final story in our three-part series. Andrea? Well, that's right, Russ. Drug traffickers directly linked to Mexican cartels drive our interstate system, bringing meth to Montana and putting people's lives at risk. So tonight, we introduce you to Mandy Nunez. She's a Billings woman who spent years of her life addicted to meth. She gets pretty real about the drug, where she tried it for the first time, and what it made her feel like. But she also talks about opening up about loss in her life from using that drug. She talks about the lows and, of course, the highs she felt from using it. But most importantly, Mandy talks about the moment that she knew she had to stop. When the pain and fear of change becomes less than the pain and fear of staying the same, people become ready. But until that happens, they do what they know. They do what they're used to. And tonight we also hear about what methods Montana uses to put away Mexican cartel drug members and what resources are available in our community to treat the meth epidemic. That final story in our Drug Superhighway series airs tonight. It's at 9 and at 10. Russ.